Basical and how's my family doing today? I hope that you guys had a beautiful day. Over here guys, you know what I like to do? I do lookbooks, I do hauls, I cook, I clean, product reviews. Come on, I just like over here. If this is something that you would like, go ahead, hit that button. Yes, go ahead and subscribe. Let's get into this video. All right, I have put the, my water, I'm getting ready to make some steamed rice. So I've just added um, water into my Dutch pot, my steamed rice. So um, someone wanted to know how I make my steamed rice, okay? So here we go, here's the pot. I put water inside the pot. Now I did not put a lot of water. You understand, not a whole lot. Not, don't fill the pot up with water, all right? You put like maybe half. You fill, I, I fill this part up halfway, and I'm gonna put it on my stove, okay? And I'm gonna turn it up on high because I want the water to come to a boiling point. All right, I want the water to come to a boiling point. That's the first step. You don't put rice in lukewarm water. You don't put rice, you know, in water that has not come to a boil. The water has to come to a boil first. All right, so my water has come to a boil, all right? Now I'm going to season my rice to my liking. Now I love to use I can't believe it's not butter. So I'm gonna add some I can't believe it's not butter to the water. And I'm going to add just a little bit of um, seasoning to give my rice flavor. Now you don't have to do this step, all right? Now I don't, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of seasoning because I know that I'm not cooking meat, I'm steaming rice. But just to give it a slight little flavor. So I'm gonna use the Maggie All Purpose Seasoning and I'm just gonna put, guys, just a little bit, not a lot, just a, just a little tidbit, bit, just to give the rice a little flavor. That's it, because I'm, again, I'm not cooking meat, I'm steaming rice, but I do want it to have a nice flavor, okay? All right, so I'm gonna stir it around so the butter and stuff can melt. All right, so the butter and stuff can melt. And guys, I'm also, again, this right here, uh, this extra stuff I'm doing, you don't have to do. You know, by add, if you just want to add butter, that's fine. But this is what I'm doing to my rice. Now, I took out some thyme. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put some thyme in my rice because to, I love the flavor of thyme. And it gives the rice a nice flavor. So I added some, um, a little bit of thyme inside of the water. Again, that's optional. You don't have to do that. Okay, you guys, now I'm getting ready to add the water, I mean the rice, to the water. And I got me some good old jasmine rice because um, we love jasmine rice over here. Okay. All right, so. All right, now I'm trying to really learn to not cook so much because, you know, my grandbabies, them. And is not here with me and my oldest daughter is getting ready to um, move out so it's like I don't need to cook as much as I used to cook and I'm so used to cooking for a lot of people you know so it's now like just me and my husband my, you know so it's like I'm really trying to me and my husband you know until my daughter moves out but I'm gonna make a, a cup of this a cup all right and i had washed it off i had rinsed off my rice okay i washed and rinsed off my rice okay so now i'm going to take the rice and i'm going to pour the rice in the hot boiling water okay in the hot boiling water okay now remember the right the water is covering, you gotta make sure you have enough water in your pot, okay, that it covers the rice. Not drowning the rice, 
but enough water in your pot that it is covering the rice. Because we want enough water in the rice so that the rice can steam down the rice. Okay. Covering the rice, okay? Now at this point, at this point, this point, okay, is we make sure that right now it's on high. Right now the fire is on high. And I'm going to let it boil and cook up, all right, until the water is pretty much, um, until the water is pretty much um, cooked out, right? So right now, let me just let it, it's going to boil. The rice is going to boil and it's going to cook. And I'm going to let it go ahead and do that until the, the water is almost. Notice I said almost. So the water is almost cooked out. Okay, so and notice you guys, at this point I'm leaving the cover and um the, I'm leaving the covering off the rice. I'm gonna show you guys how I cover it. But right now notice I didn't put no covering on the rice whatsoever because right now I'm letting the rice cook very high. And it's on high. And I'm letting it, the water cook. And I want the water to, I want the rice to cook. And I want the water to like um, cook out a little bit. Okay? So that's what's happening right now. All right. So now I'm checking on the rice. You want to make sure that, you know, you check on the rice. Okay? Because you don't want the rice to burn. You don't want it to burn. So you just lightly take it. And just kind of mix it around so it's not sticking to the bottom, okay? At this point, my rice is pretty much getting ready. Um, I'm about ready to steam it. So I'll let you go. I'm making a little bit of fried chicken breast with it. My husband likes um, fried chicken breast. I really don't. Chicken breast is not really my favorite part of the meat. It's just too much meat for me. I like the I like bone. All right, guys. At this point, my rice is now ready. It's ready to steam now. As you can see, the water is still a little water in there, but it's pretty much um, it's pretty much boiled out. So let me show you what I'm going to do. At this point, you see the water's pretty much out. Now I'm gonna turn it down to low. I'm going to turn the rice down to low, to the lowest, as low as you can go. As low as you can go without turning it off. Then I took a piece of paper towel, and I take the paper towel and I'm gonna push it down. Oh, foil towel. paper. A foil paper and I'm gonna put it over top of the pot and I'm going to seal it seal it okay which is now allowing the pot to steam I mean the rice to steam okay and then I'm going to add the top so it's on mad low I put my paper towel down, foil paper over top, put the top on, it's on mad low. So I'm gonna let it sit there and steam. I'm gonna make it steam for like a good 10 minutes and we will check it back on 10 minutes. And that's when you have, and you guys are gonna see, you will have the perfect steam rice. Watch, when I'm ready to plate this, you're gonna see how nice and um, flaky and just succulent that this rice is going to turn out to be okay all right you guys the rice let's check the rice and see how it is i mean i know it's good <laughs> but just so you guys can see wow as i stated nice fluffy rice all right you guys want to see it i know you do let's take a look that's what you see the little black flakes that's the time 
but it's deliciosis. You see that the the the, the um Maggie gave it a little coloring as well. So when I plate this, it's gonna be very colorful and very pretty. You guys want a bite? I know you to come open. Oh, that boom! There you go, delicious. <laughs>